Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I love engines and when I find a company with a new idea and ways to better the internal combustion engine I feel like I need to read up on it and make a video. Now if you love cars and engines this is the right place for you. Anyways today we are taking a look at a really weird rotary engine. The engine is called the liquid piston engine. Now as the company themselves state the engines are not Wankel engines. They are uniquely configured to adopt the company's patented thermodynamic cycle and its associated efficiency and low noise benefits. Liquid Pistons X engines improves virtually all parameters, efficiency, weight, size, vibration and noise. Now how does this patented technology work? Well it's still a four stroke like most engines we know today, so intake, compression, combustion and exhaust, but the way it does this is really genius. You see, where a normal rotor repeats its four stroke cycle with a full rotation, this design completes three combustion cycles per rotation. I'll explain how, but first, why is this good? Well, it means that the engine can be really small, yet quite power dense. It also means that the engine would make good low down torque, something the traditional rotary engine struggles with. Now, how does the system work? Well, firstly, the rotary in the liquid piston engine is oval instead of rectangular. Inside this rotor, you will find the exhaust inlet, a captivity chamber and an exhaust outlet. The intake inlet, captivity chamber and outlet is also found inside the rotor. Then similar to a traditional rotary engine, in the center of the rotor you'll find the output shaft. Now at each end of the engine housing sits your spark plug and your injectors. Watch as it fills the chamber with air. The air is then isolated in a constant volume chamber. The oval comes around compressing the air. Fuel is injected to a highly compressed air. When the air is nice and compressed and mixed with the fuel, the spark plug ignites the air, causing the expansion, which then rotates the rotor. The exhaust port then sucks up the exhaust gases and lets the air out through the exhaust outlets. This cycle gets repeated three times in each rotation. Simple, yet genius. Now they have a diesel and a spark plug ignited version of this engine. So theoretically, this thing can run on all fuels, from diesel to petrol, biofuels or even hydrogen, if paired with the correct fueling system. So what are the advantages of using an engine like this? Well firstly, they are easily scalable. So you can make a really small engine for equipment or you can scale it up for use in automobiles or motorcycles. To give you an idea, a 70cc engine that weighs only 3 pounds or 1.3 kilograms makes around 5 horsepower at 15,000 rpm. Now 5 horsepower doesn't sound like much, but it's a 70cc engine that weighs practically nothing and it can be upscaled to 1000 cc or even bigger, making way more power. Adding to that, this design also allows for multiple rotors, which can also raise the total power output. Now, the next benefit of these engines are the fact that they are super quiet since they have no valves, and the exhaust turbulence is minimized by overexpansion, so no muffler is required. Then, they are also super balanced, resulting in near zero vibration. And then lastly, they can work on nearly any fuel, making them viable for the future. I mean, with all the emission laws, engines will need to be developed to run on a clean fuel source. Now, for the big question, will it last? Rotaries are known for destroying themselves over time. Will this engine have the same fate? Well, they have an interesting way of making the seals last longer. In the X engine, the side seals can be lubricated through access points in the cover, which is a unique feature to this engine. So, if you keep your seals well lubricated, they should really last long. But let me know down below what you think of this engine. This engine has actually been developed and installed in some go-karts and handheld machines. So it's not just a CGI rendered motor. This thing has actually been developed. It exists. They just need to like upscale it and put in the proper production. So I'm, I actually think this is pretty damn cool because it's so small. And if you put multiple, let's say you make a three rotor with these, it's going to make good power, good torque, and it's going to be green. So that's all like great and it won't be very heavy so i like it but let me know down below what you think do you like it um do you see any problems with it if you do let me know down below anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i've got many more videos on the future of motoring engines all bunch of car stuff so if you like it leave a like subscribe check you guys in the next one cheers aye.